Hello everyone, Samantha here. I pray all is well with you. In this video, I wanted to just share like an update. Like um like what I've been up to. And you because know, I you know I haven't been doing as many videos um as I used to, and I hope to get back into a groove of doing a little bit more videos, you know, after the holidays. Um I had a major life transition, wasn't well, nothing bad, it was really, really good. But um I couldn't like you know, do as much arts and crafts projects that I like to do or even a lot of um, creative Bible journaling. Um, of course, I still kept reading the Bible and I, st I still kept doing some devotionals. But, you know, all the creative stuff and everything that I had that I like to do, um, I had to um, put it on pause. I still did some stuff here and there, but it wasn't like how I really... Um, do it like pulling out paints and you know um how can I say um different cup different types of mediums or even a whole bunch of stickers and stuff but um I wanted to share um yeah like what I did what I fell off of I just wanted to be honest about that because you know sometimes you may start a Bible journaling project and then you have to pause it and um, I didn't want to just do catch up and then say, okay, so this is what I did for November and then this is what I did for December. The bottom line is that by the, by the time the middle of November came, that stuff had to stop. It just had to. Um, and um, what else? Well, something else I also want to share. As you can see, my, my voice is a little bit, um, rap, well, it's raspier than usual. That's because I, I'm battling a cold. And it was something, oh yeah, and I wanted to show like, you know, um, I was working on my creative space. And so I thought I could show some pictures of what it um, looks like now. Um, I, I, I probably will do a tour sometime later on, um, you know, again, maybe after the holidays. But I could still show some pictures because um, I have some on my phone. So I'm going um, I'm to show that at the end. Uh, maybe no, I'm going to show that now. So here are some pictures of um, my creative space. It's it's much better than it um, it used to be. So um, thank God for that. Um, and so here are the pictures. <laughs> Okay, and so now what I felt I felt like I said I fell off doing um what I had started in November, um the middle of November. When I said I shouldn't say fell off, right? Because I just it's not it fell off. I had to stop. I had to stop, right? So the first thing um I did I I wasn't able to keep doing videos for um. 100 Days of Less Hustle, More Jesus. I think I've done two videos since the beginning of November, right? Yeah, because I had did, um, I did, I, I did, I think I did, I remember doing, yeah, it was this one. I did this one, day 43, and then, um, I just recently did day 44, which I could now, God willing, you know, sometime next week before Christmas Day, I could probably do day 45. But that was one of the things that came to um, a halt as far as trying to do a video at least once a week. But I don't think, I think I did like one every two weeks or something like that. I need to look back at the playlist because I don't think it was just like that much of a pause with this. But then again, it's late and I'm a bit tired. And so, also, I had showed this um, that I want. I was going to be journaling in this journal, which I really, really like. Um, in the beginning of November, and I started, and um, <clears throat> I had to also pause this. And like I said, I still read my Bible and did devotionals, but I couldn't do as like writing as much and all that stuff. But I had started like. 
you know, putting the stickers and writing and stuff like that. Um, yeah. And so I finally just picked back up. This I cut because I started writing something. I was like, wait a minute, this is not a diary. This is a reflection, reflection, reflecting on that scripture. And so, because I have a health and wellness journal for like a little bit more private thoughts like that. Yeah. And so, I just tried, at first I was like, I'm just doing stickers, but um, the other day I just wanted to be a little bit more um, creative. So I used some distress inks. Um... Yeah, I used some distress ink with this. And then right here, I just highlighted some lines and then wrote over them. I was like, you know, it doesn't always have to be a bunch of paint and stuff. It's, it's other ways to be very, very um, creative. So this was the 17th. So I did pick back up um, in December, like the beginning of December. And so December 14th, December 17th. And I'm going to go in tonight, December 19th, and do a reflection piece on one of those um, on the scripture on the bottom. Which is, I really like this, this, this journal here. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. So just a, re a reflection piece on that. That's really nice. That's Proverbs 16, 24. Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. Mmm. All right, nice, nice. Okay. Yes. Kindness. And then... Here is where I really did not do a lot in, right? Even though I really, really like doing my challenges, it had to pause. And um, like I said, just focus on reading scripture and devotional. So I, because, you know, because I can't do this doesn't mean that I don't, I should not be in the word, right? Um, so this is like an addition to, and it's very important. Don't get me wrong. It's very important. But, you know, depending upon what's going on in your life, you know, you're going to have less less time um, or more time sometimes. But what's important is that you still get the word and you still read the word um, and God will show um, show you how God shows us how because he he's ordering our life. So if we shouldn't beat ourselves up if we could read like three or four chapters of the Bible a day. And then there's a life transition and we can only read one chapter a day. Or oh, for some people, it could be less than that. It's it has it's just really let let the Holy Spirit lead you because the devil want to come in there with condemnation. He's a liar. There's no condemnation for those that are in Christ Jesus. You know the Spirit of God is in us. We are led by God. So if God is saying you got to do this in your life right now, for well, God said you got to go back to school. If God said you got to go back to school, God knows that as much time as you was to do, you know, creative Bible journaling or reading whatever it is. It's going to have to all now be um, tailored according to your life. So God is going to show you the balance. So whereas you probably read five chapters of the Bible today, God will say, you know what? Read two chapters a day and I want you to study because it's going to glorify me for you to get good grades because I don't want you wasting your money. You going to school and I want you to learn what you need to learn in, in the, for the profession that I'm sending you into. So, you know, I just thank God for the Holy Spirit because it could, it could get crazy real fast. Right. But anyway, so um, enough of that. So I had decided that I was going to in the beginning of November, I had showed that what I was going to do with Jesus calling. Right. And one of my favorite, favorite devotionals. But I had decided that I was going to do some more, some other stuff. Right. So um, it was OK. It's not it's not bad. It's open my eyes. November. This was Thanksgiving and gratitude. Right. So I had added this just to read and then check off. Yeah, read and just check off. You know, and then I would put a little bit of notes on a sticky note. Um, and I didn't get, by the time like the 10th and the 12th came, everything had to stop. So I had to do what I needed to do for um, my major life, uh, major well, fam, my husband, our major life transition, which I said is not bad, good stuff, but it was what we had to do. And then, um, this is Psalms, I will, and it's, it's, it's not like, oh, my will be done. No, God's will. The Psalms according to what God's saying. So I will acknowledge my sin to the Lord. I will confess my transgressions to the Lord. I will not sit with the wicked. 
Um, I will give thanks to God among the heathen. Sing praise to God's name. I will declare God's name to the brethren. Praise God in the midst of the congregation. I will speak of the Lord righteousness and his praise all day. So each one of these scriptures, you read it and then I will, according to what the scripture, I will show forth God's marvelous work. I will praise God with my whole heart. I will dwell in God's house forever. I will take heed to my tongue and and um keep my mouth bridle while the wicked is before me. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will be joyful before the Lord and rejoice in his salvation. I will um not I will I will not be afraid in them. What was that? Okay, I will have peace. I will have safety. I will not be afraid. I will pray in the morning. You know, I'll just write in those. I'll be joyful. Yeah, I, will, I said that. I will praise God among his people. I will extol the Lord. I will behold God's face and be satisfied with his likeness. Yes. I will not be moved. I will. My mouth shall not transgress. I will declare God's decree. So what I did was instead of getting another, I, you know, I had put some paper behind here, but I was like, no, you know what? I want to mark up this page. So I'm going to go back and pick up, you know, I'm going to do little by little. Cause even though I started this in November, I'm, I'm like, you know what? Just because November's over, it does not mean I don't have to finish it. It's just going to be more work for me. So I'm just going to go ahead with that. Then I did one, I read one for uh, money. So I would just read it. Um, attitudes about money, scripture writing plan. I did not think about writing those out. No, I said, I just want to read about, you know, money. And um, yeah, definitely. And this one is like godly purpose, count the cost, work ethic, business dealings, borrowing and lending, attitude of generosity, and seek true wealth. So, yeah, so I'm going to continue with that. And um, this one is on health. Now, because that's the thing, like, right now where I am and still, like, how come I say we transition? But, you know, once you transition, now you got to settle. You know, it's like I'll strengthen you, establish you, settle you, you know, that type. So, it's not like if I can't get to it every day, I'm not going to be like, oh, I didn't do it. I'm just going to read as I can as the Lord, you know, gives me the time. Um, in addition to my Bible, my daily Bible reading and my daily Bible devotional. Then, oh, okay, I can read one of these today, you know, and if I can read all of them straight through, good. If not, it's okay. Um, this one is on diligence. So, now, this right here, I have showed this Jesus Always calendar. It was one for giving thanks. And so I would read the scripture, write out a prayer request and a prayer of thanksgiving. I'm still going to continue on with that. The last one was on November 14th. And this was, yeah, so it just, it had to, I had to stop. And so I'm just going to pick back up. That's all I'm doing, pick back up. And um, I'm going to continue it because it's going to be vacation. And I'm going to have some time. So I might just sit and just read and write, read and write, read and write. Yeah. And so... Yeah. And so for November, remember, um, I, I shouldn't say remember because if you didn't see the video, you wouldn't know what I'm talking about. But um, my whole thing was to read um, Jesus Calling and then go and write, <clears throat> write what I learned in a, a prayer of Thanksgiving. I wasn't trying to be like very decorative here. I just put some washi up here. It was basically just to get the meat out of the devotional. And um, I could not continue to write a lot of stuff, but I still read the devotional like every day. Um, but as far as going in and writing, that was not going, that wasn't, I wasn't able to really pull this journal out like this. So, you know, but um, I still read, I read every day faithfully this devotional and um, God, it helped me, believe me, it helped me. And so, right now, it's up to the 18th. Um, 
and today's the 19th, but remember, this is November. So, I'm going to do one of them tonight, or two or three, read it. I'm going to read, because matter of fact, these two right here, November 18th, it's dated, because I put the same date for the devotional, right? Which I probably should have put the date that I, I did it, so it wouldn't look like I did it in November, but I had just coincided with, no, you know, I'm going to leave it, it's okay. I'll probably put a little date in the bottom here to remind me that I did that in December. But um, I reread the devotional, even though I did do a couple of them the other day and um, the day before yesterday. Um, you know, I still reread November's devotional, even though um, I'm in December with Jesus calling. And so for December, I was like, you know what? I shouldn't, I shouldn't even try to do any type of challenge in December. Because it's not until maybe like three days ago that I was able to get lights. A loop, um, how can I say get back to like, okay, what's going on here? What did I do in November? Where did I leave off? And stuff like that. So I was like, oh, I shouldn't try to do anything for December because it's already like the 16th. Yup, that's what I was. And then it was like, you know what? No, I'm still going to, I'm going to try. I'm still going to try because it's vacation I have some time and I could just read and read and write and write. So, um, but with that being said, um, I, I pulled out self-control because I thought about some things that I'm going through personally and how I have to just be mindful of my be, you know, my attitude and what I say. So, and then also to, you know, with, um, a lot that's going on with the season, and, you know, not being sucked into a lot of things. Still being, like, um, it festive and joining the festivities and giving here and giving there. But being led by the Spirit of God and not being led by pride and my flesh and trying to prove myself. You know, I thought self-control was on my heart. It's apropos to um, the season for me and also what God is working with me, um, God is dealing with me with. So, yeah, self-control. So, um, I started on the 16th. As you see, I didn't do anything yesterday. I wasn't feeling good. Um, I came home. Um, I didn't get home too, too late. But, a and, you know, I had a long day. And I wanted to go to, the be go to bed at a decent time. And so, you know, um, I had read something early in the day. And I said, you know what? Let me not even try to be pulling out any stuff tonight. You got to know when you know, um, to stop. And that's being a good steward over our health and our body. So, yeah. So, anyway, so I'm going to do this tonight, though. And um, so, yeah. So, what I had did, right, is I had just decided to um, write out the verse. Um, if it was a bunch of verses, a cluster, I decided to, like, pull out one and then write it here. So, um, Galatians 5.13 was on Monday. God gave me liberty to serve, not to sin. And um, this sticker says, while they're free, I cut off, I crossed out while and put blessed and free. And it says, Father God, thanks for setting me free. I'm free indeed in Jesus. Yeah, and then this one, Galatians 5.16.17, this I say, then walk in the spirit. And you should not fulfill the lust of the flesh. I just focused on the 16, but I read all of 16 through 21. Father God, thanks for helping me walk in the spirit. Thanks for your precious Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And I will also go back to December 1st and do those days before the 16th as well. And so, yeah. So, that's what... um um. As far as my challenges are concerned, I'm excited for the new year. So, I'm going to give an update on my planner, right? Because I had showed this planner um, some time ago. And it was 2019-2020 now. Let me don't get me wrong. This planner is a really nice planner, but it's not functional for me. The space I just think is just too small. Um, I started using it, and um, you know, in September, putting stickers. I don't know, like honestly, like I don't know what I'm gonna do with this planner here. 
Um, if I'm going to use it for something, I feel bad because I feel like it is kind of like a, like a waste almost. It's like I feel bad, but it's not working for me. It's not functional. And, you know, sometimes that's the most difficult thing when you start something and you realize that it's not, it was functional at one point and then it's no longer functional for you. So it is like, it's almost like not as useless for you so maybe you gotta find someone to give it to bless someone with because it's one thing if it's something that i just can't use now but i could foresee me using it later this is a planner and it's dated and i have enough stuff to go back and try to cover up tonight and not date um i don't know i don't know what i'm gonna do because you know it, it's just not functional for me not right now um and I miss the happy planner. I'm not going to lie. I miss using the happy planner as a planner. Do you know that it was one season that I could not stand using the happy planner as a planner? I just couldn't. I didn't like it. And then something happened and I started using it. And I liked it. And I said, but then I saw this. So that one was finished. So I was like, okay, let me use something different. Because I even have the pages of the Happy Planner, that, the Happy Planner page, um, the, um, when I was using it as a, as a planner. And um, I said, well, let me try this. But I don't know. I, I just don't know. I don't know. You know, I do not, do not know. But um, I had to go back to the Happy Planner, which is this. I've been using this. And the other day, it really helped me because... Um, I was upset about something, but God had me decorate my planner this week um, in advance with some washing that says, be happy, and it really blessed me. I was When I was frustrated about something, I went right to my planner because I had to, you know, do my end of night check-in, and I saw that, and it helped me with my attitude. <laughs> it surely did. So, yeah, so that's as far as planner is concerned, you know, and so... Yeah, so I think that's it. That is it. I want to just share an update. You know, I know there's a few people that watch my videos, um, you know, faithfully. And, um, you know, I wanted to just share where I was at because, um, you know, it was on my heart to do so. Being said, I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.